What's going on you guys? My name's Ty Knotts and welcome to Top 5 Unknowns, 5 Unsolved Halloween Mysteries. Number 5 On Halloween night back in 1994, a young boy named Tony Bagley was out trick-or-treating with his family. He was dressed up in a skeleton costume, walking just ahead of his sister, aunt, and mother. As Tony approached the street corner, a hooded man emerged, ran into the street, and began shooting at the Bagley family. The man then jumped into a car and took off. Every member of the family was hit by gunfire, though they all lived with minimal injuries, aside from young Tony. Tony was shot in the head and passed away a short while later at the hospital. Police were never able to locate the shooter and never had any leads on who he may be. Some believe that he could have been a family member, though this hasn't been confirmed. This is mostly due to the fact that about three years after the shooting, Anthony's father was arrested and convicted for taking the life of someone else. He was given two life sentences, though he's never spoken about whether or not he may have been present on the night of Tony's shooting. To this day, nearly 25 years later, the case remains unsolved. Number 4 On Halloween night in 1979, a young woman's body was found abandoned on the roadside of Interstate 35, just outside of Georgetown, Texas. The woman appeared to have been in her 20s and had obvious signs of sexual assault as well as marks indicating she'd been beaten and strangled. Police believed that she most likely lost her life earlier that day, though they were never able to determine who she was. The only unique thing about her is that she was wearing a small oval-shaped ring on one finger. She was entirely nude aside from a pair of orange socks, and since her true identity was never discovered, she was simply referred to as Orange Socks. Many years later, a man by the name of Henry Lucas admitted to taking the life of Orange Socks, stating that he sexually assaulted her after she had passed away. However, Lucas had no idea who the woman was, stating that her name began with a J, but that he couldn't remember much more. Police are unsure of whether or not to believe the man's confession as they have reason to believe he may have actually been in Florida at the time of her passing. Regardless, no one else has ever come forward claiming any sort of information about Orange Sox. Henry Lucas passed away in 2001 and since then the Orange Sox case remains unsolved. Number 3 On November 1, 1980, a truck driver discovered the body of a young girl nude on the side of the road near Interstate 45, just a short distance away from Walker County, Texas. She was determined to have been sexually assaulted, beaten, and strangled. Her name was never discovered, and since her discovery, she's only been referred to as Walker County Jane Doe. It was estimated that she lost her life just a few hours before her body was discovered, meaning she likely passed away on Halloween night. After her discovery, many witnesses came forward, claiming that they'd had a strange encounter with this young woman the night prior. After being let out of a car driven by an unknown male, Jane Doe had apparently been walking around asking multiple people for directions to Ellis Unit Prison, claiming she wanted to visit a friend there. Though when her photo was shown to inmates around the prison, no one seemed to have any idea who she was. Later on that evening, a waitress at a truck stop reported a similar conversation with Jane. The woman says that Jane revealed she was 19 years old and that her parents never cared about her though no other useful information was revealed. Jane lost her life exactly one year after Orange Sox, who we mentioned just a moment ago. Because of this, many believe that due to the similarities in the case, the two crimes may have been linked. And because of this, Henry Lucas may have been involved in Jane's case as well. However, to this day, the case remains unsolved and Henry never mentioned any involvement in Jane's passing. Number two. In 1982, a 69-year-old man named Marvin was living with his wife in Iowa. On Halloween night, the two were hanging out giving candy to trick-or-treaters, though at one point they answered the door to see a man who yelled, trick-or-treat, give me your money or I'll shoot. The couple believed it to be a joke at first and tried to remove the man's mask, though he pushed his way into the home, pulled out a gun, and asked the couple to lead him to the basement and give him all the money in their safe. While leading the man to the basement, Marvin attempted to grab the gun from the man. Though in the process, he was shot in the throat, passing away soon after. The masked man then fled the scene, dropping his mask as he ran. 
The wife never got a good look at him, and just a few months later, she passed away from grief. Since very few people knew the family had a safe in their basement, it can be easily assumed that the intruder was likely someone close to the family. Allegedly, a family acquaintance was heard bragging about the crime years later, though nothing ever really came of this, and the shooter remains unknown to this day. Number 1 On Halloween night in 2004, a house sleeper at Hilton Resort in Key West, Florida made a startling discovery in the trash bin of the woman's bathroom. At first, she believed the discovery to have been a Halloween prank. However, she soon found out that what she found was the body of a newborn infant, with the umbilical cord and placenta wrapped around its head. It seemed as though someone had simply given birth in the bathroom, didn't want the child, and just threw it in the trash. Police responded immediately. Upon investigation, it was discovered that a woman, accompanied by three men, entered the lobby earlier that day. The woman made her way to the restroom and remained there for about 40 minutes. She was witnessed by multiple people moaning in one of the stalls, at which point the men were confronted. One of the men checked on her, but stated that she was allegedly fine. According to reports, her story was that she had partied too much the day before and was now sick. The woman and man eventually left the resort and were never seen again. Fingerprints and DNA were pulled from the bathroom stall, yet police never found a match. To this day, the case remains unsolved and the mother remains unknown. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep updated with our videos.